Hello, hello dear Capricorn, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking and this is your love reading for Valentine's Day of 2020. Now this reading is not only for just the Valentine's Day, of course we know a general reading for many things will not show up just on Valentine's. This is for around Valentine's Day. Now please remember that Mercury is turning retrograde, so this could be missed communication. Make sure to go over all the details on the 16th of February of 2020 and also that past situations, people from our past could be coming back to redo things, to look over things, to have another chance. Let's take your cards and see what's happening for you, dear Capricorn, on Valentine's Day of 2020 or just after or before. I know you guys are going through a lot, but you do have Jupiter there as well, which is helping you along. Let's see what's going on. And we've got the Nine of Pentacles. And this is a very common card in these readings. Nine of Pentacles does speak of independence. Some of you may be dealing with a Virgo. We've got another Nine, Nine of Swords. A lot of worries around your stability, around your security maybe at this time. Some of you may feel as though you have been deceived. A lot of worry and anguish here. Maybe things not known and maybe the transformation you're going through, the changes that are in front of you are worrying you sick. Let's see what else we've got. And we've got the Knight of Swords. So, wow, clarity comes through. The Knight of Swords comes through quickly with the clarity. He holds the Ace of Swords. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. And we've got the Six of Wands, which is a beautiful card of success. It's a card of balance. It's maybe even a bit of ego in this card. This is recognition of completion, finding balance where your desires are concerned. Maybe you're very, you're dealing with someone that's very popular. Maybe someone that's uh, got a lot of friends, someone that's got a lot of people cheering them on with whatever they do. There can be ego around here. And I feel that there is a sense of jealousy here. I don't know why. Now, this could be you being the one that's popular. For those of you that have got strong air um, fire, maybe you've got Leo, Sagittarius or Aries, uh, moon or rising signs. If you've got a three planets in Leo, you could show up as the six of wands. Just keep that in mind. But I do feel that there is a lot of worry around things that are being hidden, things that are unknown. And I feel here with the Nine of Pentacles, which is the Virgo card, uh, Nine of Pentacles uh, shows someone that's quite independent. Sorry about that interruption. Um, I just wanted to say that for those of you that are standing very strong financially um, and not only, even emotionally, you're not showing a lot of emotion. If you are dealing with an air sign, they're worried sick about that. And this could be, this could mean that you are successfully uh, standing strong. So career-wise, you're doing really well. Could you be partnered up with someone that is worried sick about that, that there is no, uh, there is fear of, things that are hidden and therefore your partner, if you are committed to someone, is coming through and asking for clarity and communication where your uh, relationship is concerned. Let's take some more cards. Beneath the Six of Wands is the Four of Swords. So someone is taking time out, they're meditating, looking for answers. If you are dealing with someone who's got strong air in their chart, that could be the case. Let's take more cards. Let's look at this Nine of Pentacles. We've got the Death card, and that's where the transformation is happening. So your independence is changing. Now, Pluto can mean a deep connection, maybe even just a sexual connection, maybe not an emotional connection. Some of you may be in an intimate relationship where there's no... Um, emotional connection and that's where it's quite shaky here with Pluto. Pluto is asking for change. 
on it. Let's see. Now again, you may be dealing with a Scorpio, okay, which may have strong air in their chart. Let's look at the Nine of Swords and we have the Six of Cups. So Six of Cups is the soulmate connection. It is a very innocent uh, energy for those of you that are in a sexual commit, uh, maybe commitment, but with no, not, not um, emotionally balanced. It looks as though that may be coming into fruition. That may be changing for you. Some of you may share children, but maybe even because I know that uh, career-wise, Capricorn is very like on the ball. They put career in a very important position and people may tend to stand out. If you are working like a Virgo or a Capricorn, obviously the family feels left out. Um, now the Six of Cups can be worry about a soulmate connection. Um, you may feel as though with this air sign you are um, you have known each other before in a past lifetime. Some of you may feel as though you're in a karmic situation that keeps coming around. This is a soulmate connection. Doesn't always it doesn't always mean that it's going to be a good connection. Let's see what this Knight of Swords is all about. The clarity. Now, others of you may be in a connection with an air sign. And you may be connecting with another Scorpio, feeling as though you uh, are connected in a different way with this Scorpio individual that's coming into your life. Could be someone that's quite successful, someone that is um, someone that is very driven by career, and that's where you see eye to eye. That's where you feel that there is a stronger connection there. Two, three cards just opened up on this Knight of Swords. Let's see what they are. We have the Three of Wands, which could be someone turning their back on a situation. We've got the King of Swords. There it is. And we've got the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is uh, insisting on um, fighting for what you believe in. Okay, and this uh, King of Swords could be someone that's trying to win you back. Dear Capricorn, for those of you that have connected with a Scorpio and you feel as though this is a soulmate connection, this could be communication uh, with someone that's at a distance. And the you know the it's it, you're up against the odds. I want to say here, but there is communication here as well. I do feel as though you may be dealing with. Uh, some of you may be dealing with two different people. One is a king and the other one is a knight. So a little bit more immature energies is the knight here. I do, I don't know why, but I feel as though the newcomer would ma mainly be the king of swords. I don't know why, I just feel as though because we've got the nine of swords, which is the card of worry with the knight of swords, which as an energy says that Someone is coming through quickly. Communication is coming in quickly. And the sword is also that I'm severing ties with someone that's been very worrisome to me, someone that's given me a lot of anguish and worry. Let's look at your love life with Amira's Love Oracle. For others of you, this could be the same person. We do have fire, which is uh, Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. And we've also got air, which is Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. And we've also got Scorpio and Virgo here. Capricorn, please. Spirit, Capricorn. What's going on with them and their love life at this time? And we've got true love. So for some of you, you feel as though you're, you know, you're up against a lot because you found your true love. And you feel as though this is a soul connection, soulmate connection, and you are going through major transformation. Let's look at the Lenormand. Major transformation with your past. Some of you are having difficulty in trusting that this is someone that is 
better than before, someone that you were dealing with before that may have brought you a lot of hard, uh, a lot of heartbreak and heartache. Capricorn, please, spirit around Valentine's Day. We have the sexual Martian, as you can see, the glyph of Mars there. This is someone who's very driven by their passion. Mars ruled would be Scorpio and Aries. Okay, let's see what else. We've got the letter A here as well. A can stand for a name, the beginning of a name, a second name, a first name. Um, we've also got the dog, and the dog is loyalty. There's a lot of playful energy here. Maybe there is more play, uh, more innocence. We've got the children here, Six of Cups, and the child. So we've got two quite different energies here. There's a lot of sexual energy in this masculine, in this male here. Now, if you are obviously masculine, this is your energy. Uh, you're looking for intimacy and a deep connection. If you are feminine, then this is your male, the person that's very sexual, very passionate. Let's see what else. And we've got the house. I feel, um, dear Capricorn, that if you are de dealing with a Scorpio, this is no doubt more than likely Scorpionic. For others of you, can be Aries because Aries is also ruled by Mars. And uh, we do have a fair bit of fire here. Now we've got the house, which is a K. So we've got a K. I don't know how that speaks to you and in your personal situation. Let's take the six of wands. So let's look at that six of wands. And we've got the Emperor. The Emperor and the King of Swords. We do have two different individuals here. For some of you, it could be the same person again. Why? Because the Emperor can be very Saturnian. So can the King of Swords. Now, this is Aries or Taurus, usually, but not doesn't have to be. This is someone who's very harsh, very um, protective of the Empire, not very open to emotion. someone who does not show emotion apart from aggression, really, and very, uh, a lot of passion as well, not, not emotion. There's no emotion in this emperor. For those of you that this is the same person, could this transformation be that this person is finally uh, coming down a few stairs and turning more emotional because that is what the transformation is? They, they may have... Uh, realized that this energy which is a six of cups six of cups is a soulmate connection they may have realized that life is not only um sex life is not only ruling and being on top of your game but a, 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 a healthy balance is opening up your heart. Now, again, this could be the person that you were dealing with in the past. You may have another uh, individual here which you may be um, focused on or communicating with. And we do have the Six of Cups here. For others of you, again, because we've got the uh, Six of Cups here, you may be dealing with someone who's got strong water in their chart. Now, Scorpio, as I said, is deep connection. It is sexual connection. Here with the Emperor, it's not really, I don't see it really as the person that would bring you the happiness here. I do feel that there is more ego in this connection. Okay, now we do have the house right underneath the King of Swords and we don't have a king which is um, the king of cups, for instance, someone that is showing more open to emotion. We don't even have the king of pentacles, which could be someone that's very stable. So we've got two quite different energies. 
So we've got, let's say, fire and air, which can be quite explosive, but it is action. It is uh, making a move. It's doing the work. It's not only uh, being recessive and waiting. Here we've got the Knight of Swords, which is all about clarity. Okay, so each and every one of you are going to have a different situation on your hands. Let's take some of my handwritten cards. What I see here is that there is passion, there is playfulness, and there is stability here in a true love connection. Now, for some others of you, could this male have been someone from the past, someone that's transformed and turned more emotional, more playful, or you've closed the door on this connection and you've opened the door to a connection that's much more playful, much more open emotionally, and someone that w does speak their truth and they do also have the desire to be very truthful with you and to commit to you. So this could also be someone who wants children. So they may even be a father already and have their own children. Let's look first at the emperor. Now these messages will not tra uh, be for everyone. The emperor, open your heart and talk truthfully to me. Talk to me. And this is the ace of swords, which is also the king of swords who is holding that ace. So again, it could be the same person or the talk to me truthfully could be you asking for truth from the emperor. Let's look at the king of swords. And we have, I can't get over you. And this is the eight of swords. Let's take one more on that king of swords. I think I need a little bit more clarity. So we've got nine swords here. We've got one sword and eight is nine swords again. Let's take one more on this king of swords. And we have, I will never forget you. I will always love you. This is the five of wands. So I will leave that up to you, who you think that is. I'm going to take one more on the emperor. And we have, this is the seven of swords. I got carried away. I didn't want to hurt you. It didn't mean anything. So this is someone who's quite stealthy, quite sneaky. And the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Swords is the Eight of Swords. There are many swords here, dear Capricorn. So I don't know how it speaks um, for you. I want to take just one card on this true love, just in case we have something that is substantial and important that will show up for this card. Let's take the card. And we have the chariot card, which is the sign of cancer. Some of you, and I did mention cancer before, if you remember at the beginning of the reading, this is overcoming obstacles. This could also be literal movement. Uh, you're in the driver's seat. The chariot says you overcome the obstacles. You may be moving towards a true love connection. And this could also be a very fated new partner coming into your life, one that feels like a soulmate. Now, the water signs that I've mentioned are Scorpio and Cancer. I did say the King of Cups before, so maybe they haven't shown up in your life yet. They're not showing up in your reading. Nevertheless, we've got you're going towards your destiny, dear Capricorn, in love. So wishing you all the best. Thank you so, so much. Um, let me know in the comments below what's going on with you. All right. Many blessings. Talk to you soon.